All signs tarot. This is a daily love reading for the sign of Pisces for the 25th of February 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Pisces who need to hear these messages today. You might have Sagittarius in your chart. You could be back and forth about the decision. You could be really stuck in your head about uh, how to move forward in a situation. Holy Spirit, let's see who are you dealing with. Uh oh. All of these are in reverse. So, three of pentacles, six of pentacles, 36 or 63 could be significant somehow. Also, the 6th of March or the 3rd of June could be significant. So, you could be dealing with another Pisces or this could be your birthday. The 6th of March could be your birthday. Could be. You could be 36. I'm not sure. Or the person you're dealing with. Because I was. To, oh, this is supposed to describe the person you're dealing with, right? They could be 36. They could be born on the 6th of March or on the 3rd of June. So they could be a um, Gemini or a Pisces. So they're a dual sign like you are. Two of Wands. This person could be at a distance from you. You could be watching each other and not saying anything, not doing anything. It could be. <laughs> it's like a standstill. It's like your two cowboys there with your about to draw your pistols, but nothing's happening. Could be. But I think you're going to come together and work together. This could even be a, um, somebody you work with. So you might be holding back your feelings for each other because you work together. That's another possibility here. But it looks good. It looks like you're going to be together maybe. If, if you're at the distance, you might reunite. This could be a friend. Like This could be a workmate who you also go to drinks with. Yeah, this could be a work situation, or this could be a friend, this could be somebody you worked with in the past, this could be somebody who's at a distance. There's some kind of blockage here for you coming together, I'm not sure what it is. Even though you, do, I don't see blockage cards, but it's, it's kind of like you and this person are at a distance. And it's like there's something in the way, and it could be work. Okay. Let's see, two of pentacles. Juggling. Six of Swords, Four of Pentacles. It could be that work has separated you in some way. Somebody could be traveling for work or somebody could be in the entertainment industry and they could travel a lot overseas. And uh, somebody's holding back their feelings and maybe it has to do with work. Work is separating them again in some kind of way. 6226, this could be a significant angel number. Okay. Holy Spirit, what's the message here? Are these people going to come together eventually and have a relationship? Because, yeah, it's not known. It's They have options. Both of you have multiple options with the Seven of Cups, so it's not clear yet. Somebody needs to make a decision. Eight of Wands, they need to communicate something. Also, they would have to travel. There's some there's a lot of competition and anxiety here. Somebody's definitely single though. Okay, so it, yeah, it, it looks like somebody doesn't want to let go of the competition. They doesn't want to let go of their options. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Okay, so I think somebody's going to stay single in this situation. Should you let go of this situation ship here? Should Pisces let go of this situation ship? Uh-oh, two of cups. Two, two, two. Maybe you're born on the 22nd of February. That's in Pisces season, so I don't know. That could be a significant date too. You see, but it's got two of cups with eight of swords. So this is, I think this is a karmic soulmate here. You might be with this person, but uh, you might not like it. When you're, if you're actually going to be with this person, you're going to be feel like you're trapped. So is it better for Pisces to just let this go? This is being independent. This is Virgo energy. This is your opposite sign. I think it's better for you to focus on Ace of Cups reversed. You're not going to be together with this person. But this could also be a no to my question because I asked if you should let this person go. Ah, four of Wands. I think you're going to end up with this person. 
Okay, so let's see if you're actually going to be with this person. How will the relationship be like? Holy Spirit, if Pisces ends up with this person, how will the relationship be like? Holy Spirit, show me. If this if Pisces ends up with this person, how will the relationship be like? Uh, people are not going to respect each other's boundaries. With the Seven of Wands reversed. And there could be a lot of arguments. Yeah, this is not good. Just let it go. Okay? You need to focus. Maybe you don't have enough self-love. You need to focus on healing yourself and having more self-love. And knowing what you deserve, right? You don't deserve to be treated this way. Once you know what you deserve, you're not going to allow it, right? Even if people like this are going to come towards you, you're going to sense them, you're going to know that they're not good for you, you're actually going to notice the red flags, and when you do, you're going to say, no, I've had enough of people misbehaving, and you're just going to say no. Because the thing is, Pisces, they can be quite codependent sometimes, and they could overlook a lot of red flags in relationships. They might forgive too many things. Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups. So yeah, if you know what's good for you, you're going to walk away. That's what I'm getting here with the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Cups. The year 1998 could also be significant. Somebody might have a Nine or an Eight life path also. Somebody could be born on the 9th of August or on the 8th of September. 9th of August, 8th of September... Uh, so it's either a Leo or a Virgo. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo or a Virgo. Or you could have Leo and Virgo in your chart. This could be you. Okay. Right. So the, the best thing exactly. Like I said. If you know what's best for you. If you love yourself. If you value yourself. You're going to walk away from this. Anything else? It's over. That's it. Yeah. King of Wands, this could be the person you're dealing with, you could be dealing with a fire sign, or you have strong fire in your chart, so use the fire, use the force <laughs> to free yourself, right? Take care of yourself, because this person you're dealing with is very selfish, so you need to end this and focus on yourself, basically. I think it's pretty clear cut here. We ended with the Ten of Swords. Look, six, eight, ten, it's progression. That's what we're going towards. A big, big ending to this horrible cycle. I hope this helps. Take care.